Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for May 8th of 2024 is titled Visualization, a Black Hole Accretion Disk. So what do we see here? Well, the first thing we see is simply the image showing the black hole. And this part is labeled. So let's take a little bit of a look at this in more detail before we go ahead and play the video, which will only run about 15 seconds or so showing different views of this. And here we can see the central black hole and that's the black hole shadow. Now that's an area around the black around the black hole an area that we cannot see. So it's a bigger than the event horizon in fact a little bit bigger than the event horizon which is the point of no return after which something enters no information about it can any longer get out. So we see that towards the center. That's the kind of thing we've been able to image with the event horizon telescope allowing us to see the shadows of very massive black holes. Now up uh, around that and in that central portion we see the photon ring which is as we can guess a ring of light photons being particles of light. Now this is outside the event horizon so light from here is able to escape but may orbit around the black hole several times before escaping. Toward the top we see the far side of the disk and we can see how distorted it comes becomes having to pass through the strong gravitational field of the black hole. It tells us about Doppler beaming and we can actually see that one side of the black hole is brighter than the other. Now that is because of the Doppler effect that energy of the material going coming toward us is enhanced while the material going away is uh, de enhanced it's lesser than it would be otherwise and we can note how much brighter the left hand side is as compared to the right hand side of the image and then we do see the accretion disk itself and that is the area uh, where material is being heated up spiraling around the black hole at very high speeds and heated to very high temperatures and finally at the bottom we see the underside of the disk because of the strong gravity space is so distorted that we not only see the top of the disk but we can see the bottom of the disk at the same time. Now let's go ahead and play this video a few times so we can take a look at it and what we'll see is we're looking at different orientations we can see that Doppler beaming on the left hand side and then we're looking straight down on it and then looking around again as this turns this simulation so we can see that photon ring around as we move it and we can see how the various pieces of this change as we kind of tilt a little bit looking at at this from different orientations. Again, we can move up and look down on it and then move around and look at it from other angles and see how the distortion looks. So it's when we're looking around through that black hole that we get the highest level of distortion. And that's where we see the vast majority when the light from the disk happens to pass near the event horizon of the black hole. That's when it gets distorted. And that's when we see the far side where it's tilted up in the up in the image. And then the underside that we can see as well. You notice we don't see that when we're looking straight down on the disk. And that's because in those cases the light does not have to pass near the black hole itself. It's coming straight away from it, not in the area of the greatest distortion of space and time that occur because of the immense gravity of the black hole. So that was our picture of the day for May 8th of 2024. It was titled Visualization, a Black Hole Accretion Disk. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.